So basically we use an X clip in conjunction with an external reference when we want to crop out anything, any information we don't want to see, or zero in on a particular part of the plan here. So here you can see we have our XREF and it's quite a large plan. So we can use an X clip to focus on a particular section making it easier to sort of read the drawing. So let's type xclip and select our reference. Enter and we'll go down to new boundary and we want a rectangular boundary. Let's go in and select our room and here you can see the xclip has effectively cropped out everything else and left us with the information we want to see you'll notice these blue nodes on the corner of the rectangle we can drag them to alter the X clip like so and now if we can also copy this X clip so we type CO for copy so we can then refer to the same room multiple times in the drawing which is very handy for say joinery or if you're looking at a room in a larger scale. Let's type X clip and go down to delete to remove that X clip and now you can see we've opened up the drawing the entire floor plan as the X clip has been deleted. Now let's say we want to X clip a uh, more intricate part of the floor plan. We can go in with a polygon and select the areas of the floor plan that we want to see. This will act as a template for the X clip boundary. And now if we type X clip and select our X ref again and this time when we create a new boundary we'll select polygonal and we can go in and trace that polygon that template we made we can delete that now and we're left with our X clip We can delete that. So that about sums up this XClip tutorial. Um, I think you'll find it can be a very handy tool, particularly when you're working with quite a large drawing. Thank you for watching.